I am the best actor wrestler and a superstar. I am the best businessman in the world. And best bodybuilder. Did you subscribe to the channel? Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are looking into deep fake audio creation where you're cloning a voice into whatever you want. I already have a video on this channel explaining voice cloning deep fake audio, which is pretty much the same application that we are running here. But in that video, I've had quite a bit of requests where people wrote trying to ask how you can upload your own custom audio and create your own voice. So that's where what we, this video is about. And I'll show you from the scratch of how you can create your own audio samples that is required for cloning of this application. So the link in the description will take you to this collab file right here and just click on that. Make sure your runtime type by going on the runtime, change runtime type is on GPU, make sure it is on GPU and click on save once you have done that. And now I'm gonna run this along with you. So once everything is good, just click on run all and it'll run everything from the beginning to the end and it'll take care of the whole application for you. And there's already a file inside that application which you don't need to worry about and it'll play that for you right away. So it'll take a few seconds, it'll go through each and every bit of the code, it'll clone the repository, it'll download all the necessary equipment, necessary libraries and files that you need, especially the audio generation files. It'll also draw, download the model file, the, the weights file that is used for, uh, that were used for training this cloning repository. So that's a, that same thing, everything would be downloaded. It'll also create this function that is required for generating that audio everything is going to be taken care and right here towards the end this is the text so whatever text you want to write down here you can write down the text that you need the cloned voice to play and it'll take care of it for you so it'll you can see there's a new folder which is being generated here real-time voice cloning and there are certain types of audio in it there is a trump 10.wav file which will already come along with this repository so it will be available for you to test it out also but in, uh, once it's just done i'll show you how you can clone your own audio how you can create your own audio so let's take uh, give it a few more seconds it's almost running and it's taking care of all the files looks like it's downloading it's installing all the libraries i can uh, maybe skip the video in the yeah let, let me skip the video and i'll be right back with you so I have these three videos. One of them is for, for Arnold, the other one is for Rock, the other is Elon Musk. So we'll take the Rock video. Let's open up the video and see how the file looks like. So this is an MP4 value, but you can see video as well. Things you can realize that this ain't not alone. You're not the first to go through it. You're not gonna be the last to go through it. And oftentimes it happens. So we'll take the audio from this video file and use it for our cloning. So the first step you want to do is open this into a from a software called as Audacity and Audacity is a free version. I can put the link in the description for you to download it. It's a free software and it's available for Linux, Microsoft, Windows and also with Apple. So it's easy to download and you can simply run it. So I'll show you what you need to do is first right click on this and make sure you're opening it with Audacity open or in your windows application you'll have that option of open with another application and make sure you're opening it with audacity so just click on open with audacity or open the file with audacity and this is how the uh, file will open up and if you are not able to open it that way you can always go into the file open and then then open that mp4 value and it'll open up as an audio file in the application so again this is a free application and what we want is five to 10 second of audio sample without much gaps in it, without much spaces, without much um, ah uh, moments in it. So it should be a clear speech without much noise. No, no noise at all. Otherwise it'll train the noise as well. So it'll, it'll give you out noise in the output as well. So you wanna make sure you're creating, you're collecting the right good data. So without much noise. And you might have noticed in the demo that I showed earlier, the Arnold Schwarzenegger audio, it had some noise in it because the original speech that I took from the internet, that already had some noise in it. And that's the reason you can see some gaps in the audio. But again, if you want to have that clear output, make sure you're not taking any kind of audio, any, any kind of samples. So let's see what the first bit looks like. So that's what we want. So let's take this first bit of sample right here. 
this section that's it and right click on it or you can always come here and there is this copy section so it will copy that bit that only bit you need so just copy on this and once everything is done use control a or select all it'll select everything and we want to just delete everything so you're selecting everything by clicking control a and just delete everything just press the delete button and it'll delete everything for you and at that moment right click or control v press control v and it will just copy paste what you had copied originally so that five second sample that we were using we're just copy pasting it and once everything is done just save other so you have this option where you can export it as an mp3 so you open that because now you want to create your own audio sample so come here and you have the i have this folder called custom voices and i'm just creating that sample so i always like to put down the second value so 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 that i know what kind of a sample i'm using so for this in this case since it's a five second sample i'm just putting down rock 5.mp3 so you can see it's a five second sample zero to five and you're just saving it it'll give you another pop-up screen showing what kind of uh, output you want so this is it came up on my other computer other screen so this is the window it will come up you can give the title name you can give all that information which is needed for an mp3 but you can always leave it blank if you need to and just press ok so it will and create that audio sample for us let's open back the folder and you'll see the rock.5 rock 5.mp3 value already available for us and now you can use this with your cloned with the collab file and then run your own application now let's come back to the collab file so you have everything run everything when you pressed it on all thing it'll go through every bit of the code and run everything so the last bit over here which is the last chunk here where you have the tom 10.wav file you'll we'll get this generated output in Trump's voice basically so if you play this file you'll get something like subscribe to the channel did you subscribe to the channel? So you'll have that output ready with you. So now you want to upload your own file, right? So go into your real-time voice cloning. This is in the directory folder right here in the file section. So here in this particular site, the right click, there's this three dots. It'll give you an option to upload. Press upload and the file you have. So we have this rock5.mp3 file. We'll just upload it. Once everything is uploaded, you'll see that the rock5 dot uh, rock 5mp 3 file is already up here for us. So we will do this. Now we need to change the file name because now we want to program the system to know that it should open up this file as your cloning file. So just change this to rock5. Make sure you're giving the right file name as well. Path. So it's a mp3. So you're just changing that to mp3 and for his voice, I would want to choose a different text. So I'll use, let's go with this one and we will run this so it can save the text file and then we will run this so it can now run on rocks voice so it can clone the voice for us and give us the output right here. So let's give it a few seconds. You can see it's loading it's going through all the bits of the audio file generating the text out of it and then creating the cloned voice for us so it's right here i am the best actor wrestler and a superstar i am the best actor wrestler and a superstar so you have the output ready for you that's how it is so it's as simple as that hope this video helps you and uh, let me know what, what are the different types of exciting projects that you are thinking about using this that'll give me an idea so my i can make my next videos and next projects accordingly so let me know what you need what are you looking at what are kind of projects are you interested in that'll give me an idea i won't have an idea if you don't tell me so leave me a comment and let me know what you're working on and what you're interested in and i'll gear my videos towards in that direction with that you guys take care stay safe Bye bye